Hello, my name is John Liu, Flow Ninja, Microsoft Flow and Power Apps MVP. Today I want to talk about the second product that we are bringing to everyone. This product is called Clarity, Clarity for the Power Platform. Now, what is Clarity? Clarity is a turnkey solution for uh, monitoring and governance for your Power Platform. So this is for both Flows and Power Apps as well. I'll quickly show how you will set up Clarity and then what does it do. When we come to Clarity, first we log in. Once you're logged in, you're executing everything Clarity as yourself. Um, for administrators, you should head to the settings and add one or more uh, additional accounts. So this is, in the future, you'll be able to also set up multiple webhooks here. So this is one of the test webhooks that I have. Now, the way Clarity works is that we set up with Clarity multiple service accounts that Clarity will actually use to scan the entire Power Platform. And this is all the flows, all the Power Apps, all the environments, all the actions uh, in flows, all the flow runs, uh, all the flow sharing, all the Power Apps sharing, uh, all the connections, all the connectors, uh, all kinds of objects within the whole entire Power Platform. And all these data are collected by various agents. So there are multiple agents running in the background. Uh, they'll collect all this data and pull it all together into a database. And then Clarity, the dashboard itself, is a way of displaying that data. So we come back to flows. What you're seeing is 548 flows that have been picked up across my entire uh, tenancy. Now Clarity reads flows across all environments. So it could automatically see uh, in this fancy grid, we can see all the flows divided by different environments that exist in our environments. You can also split by different owners. So you can very quickly see who's making what. In addition, while Clarity is collecting information about flows and power apps, it works out what connections they are using. So uh, whether a flow is using very specific connections, use, it works out what connection actions is using. Like this is a SharePoint patch item, which is an update item. And you may have other ones such as, uh, what's this one? Azure AD get group. Okay, so, uh, and it performs uh, resources. Resources has a really fun one. If I sort by owner, and if I skip to one of my um, demo users called Gandalf, Gandalf created a flow that uses a SharePoint connection to the SharePoint site and then another SharePoint connection to a different tenant, sharepointgurus.sharepoint.com. So Clarity picks up when flows are performing cross tenant uh, requests and Clarity is able to read that. Clarity also reads Flow Runs, similar to Flow Studio, but Clarity does it at an entire enterprise level. It reads everything that these accounts are able to see. So in Clarity, basically, it is a multi-account, multi-environment, uh, multi-user view of everything that these accounts could see and all put together into a governance dashboard. So you can add one or many service accounts. If you're a small company, you may just have one service account that has permission to read uh, everyone's flows in the environment. If you're a large organization, you may have multiple service accounts and use that to read different environments at the same time. Um, so that is Clarity and it does all these additional columns. So Clarity reads more columns than Flow Studio did. And as well, uh, Clarity also reads Power Apps. So these are Power Apps that are made by people in my organization. In view of so where we are going with Clarity, we want to see events. So we want to see when users are creating, modifying, running, or when the flow is failed. We want to see, so these are all in Analyze. And then we want to say back in flows here, Clarity automatically determines some flows that are running very frequently. Clarity thinks they're business critical. And in Clarity, a business critical object, such as a flow and power app, they are scanned more regularly. And that will give us uh, more frequent updates on what's happening with this flow. So admin is able to ask the maker to directly update the form and describe 
Uh, what is the business criticality of this? Is it really business critical? I mean, Carity will make a good guess, but it is still up to the maker to determine. And also, what what are some med- mitigation plans if this flow were to fail? Or maybe some what are the documentation links required for this flow? So, you know, even in the future, as someone's coming back and revisiting this flow, these flows and power apps, uh, you will find that documentation link may be your only documentation that is necessary to understand the solution. So there is the act. And then the ultimate refers to uh, we clarity reads all these objects and then it basically raises events. So clarity is a, a massive events generation engine for the whole power platform. We'll raise your event when Power apps are created, flows are created, flow runs are run. Probably you don't want that too often. But when flow runs fail, you get an event. You will see when someone creates their first connector, maybe their first SharePoint connector, and you wanted to write some, uh, add them to a uh, community or practice group, or maybe you want to send them some data policy that they need to understand. We have these other policies regarding use of SharePoint in our organization. And what does that look like? And finally, Clarity Automate also includes all these views by some filter or sort order or filter criteria or grouping are available as basic HTML reports that we can schedule and send to you once a day or once a week. So these are also what we consider the Automate part of this Clarity. So Clarity will generate a lot of events and it could report general reports and send that to you uh, weekly or daily uh, so you get a nice report of what's going on. Imagine you can get a report daily of the critical flows that have failed uh, within a particular criteria. So we can do that as well. Now I want to wrap up with uh, here a quick email. Uh, this is an email sent by Clarity to me. It's basically saying, help, these flow runs have fallen over needs a rescue. And you'll see that Clarity has dug up the run ID and even reconstructed the URL that will take me right into that flow. So flow name, the, the last owner, and we're, we're working on more of this. On some triggers such as SharePoint, we want to also include the URL of the site and the list squid and maybe even the list ID because we can read those values. So we want to include all that into this uh, the run, the fail run meta information to be made available at your fingertips. That is Clarity in a nutshell. We are in pilot stage and currently the UI and the features are frozen because we need to do a bunch of work to support multi-tenancy and support the trials where we're letting more companies join in to the existing trial uh, partners. We are very keen to show you what Clarity can do for you. You could basically see everything that's happening within your Power Apps and Flow environments uh, with very little setup, you don't need to install anything. You need to basically go to settings, add a bunch of accounts that has admin permissions to see the environments, and Clarity will go to work for you immediately. And then we would like your help in supporting our work to build out the priority features that you are after in your environment. So that is Clarity, and that's where we're going. We hope you'll come on board and be one of the first pilot companies that are helping us flesh out this product. If you're currently in the process of thinking you need to build out a governance or monitoring dashboard, then uh, we have a turnkey solution ready to go. But we would like your help in defining where do we take this product and what reports are most necessary to you. Uh, this particular one with the cross tenant is one that was uh, requested by one of our pilot companies. Um, and of very strong interest to us in talking and uh, in highlighting a set of reports that are very security targeted. Uh, we want to know, we don't want to know just whether SharePoint is used or SharePoint is not used. We actually want to know whether SharePoint is used and in what URL are they used. Uh, that I th- we think is a much higher value report. And then in the future, we will build webhooks as well. So if Clarity sees a flow is created, but it's doing a, a connection to a SharePoint site that's not in the whitelist, we will let you know as well. So these are the additional 
uh, features that Clarity is building uh, that will that will help all the business. So our aim is to give you Clarity. We'll go in and dig into the metadata and find the data where it makes sense, and then build the scenario and the webhook and the report that will give companies and businesses uh, clarity. So this will help both makers and it will help the IT IT departments and it will help security teams to implement Power Platform better. So uh, we hope you all will be interested and uh, contact us for a demo. And then we can talk about how we can implement clarity for you. All right, that's all. Bye.